with John Costa, the editor of Citizens Eye. We're here at the Phoenix Square Film and Digital Media Centre in Leicester's Cultural Court. It's August the 26th, Friday, and it's the second day of our five-day-long Ride Leicester Festival. And because it's the start of the ninth bike festival, I still can't believe it's the ninth year, we've actually been joined by Gavin Strange. How are you, Gavin? Yeah, I'm good, thank you very much. Excellent. So um, you're actually from Leicester originally, aren't you? I am, yeah, from uh, born and bred in Leicester. I never never moved away until Bristol uh, tempted me from uh, Leicester's luscious lands, and I've been there ever since. Leicester's luscious lands. I like that. That was a great description. I might have to use that for our 2012 programming. Now, um, what actually drew you down to Leicester? Uh, uh, off to leave off. to leave Leicester or to head off to Bristol. It was just I'd never been anywhere else. I'd never gone to university, so I'd never left the city. And I, I visited an artist friend of mine and just fell in love with the city, the steep hills and the big descents and the, the beautiful lush Greenland and just that experience of living away. And there's a big graphic design side of things and art side of things, and I'm a designer, so it really just kind of uh, it, it just felt right to, to move and get some new experiences, basically. Excellent. Now you've joined us this evening because uh, we're premiering a, a film that you've made. Is that right? Yeah, that's. Right, yeah. Okay, and it's called. You, I'll let you. I'll let you describe. Everyone what it's always says that it's called Bikes Mind. Uh, simple as that. It's um, if you say it phonetically, it's instant Bristolian. Just Bikes Mind. Bikes simple Mind. That, okay, yeah. well, that's what it's about. So <laughs> yeah. tell us, how long is it? Uh, it's thirty minutes long, and it's a um, it's a documentary about riding fixed gear bikes in in Bristol. Um, I ride a fixed gear bike, and I myself am fascinated as to why would you ride a bike without any gears. In a city full of hills, and there's a huge, diverse cast of people that are that are in it. I say cast; they're literally just different individuals who ride for lots of different reasons. And I just found it all very fascinating, and quite organically, I just started filming them. Before I knew it, it turned into an actual full film. So yeah, really excited to show it. Now, whenever you talk to people about sort of you know bike culture and things like that, obviously you know Cambridge always comes up, you know London, uh, Copenhagen, New York, and stuff. And obviously Leicester's got a bit of a scene going on now with um, things like the Ride Leicester Festival, which we're trying to back up. Now, Bristol, obviously, is kind of crucial to that. What's, what's the bike scene like down there? It's really good. There's a big bike scene in Bristol, and there's kind of lots of different ones. If you just take ride five minutes out of the city, there's a place called Lee Woods, which has got huge, beautiful dirt trails um, that a lot of off-roaders kind of take. But then in the city, you've got a lot of commuters and a lot of mountain bikes and a lot of geared bikes because of the hills. And then, yeah, you've got kind of this other group of people that a bike like I have that's a fixed gear bike that see it as a bit of a challenge but overall there's a really good community there's a good kind of um, sense of camaraderie between everyone and there seems to be the, the traffic and the, and the bikes kind of play nicely-ish together it's, mm. it's not it's no Copenhagen yet but, but that attitude is definitely getting better and that's really really nice because we often say to people here like you know things like the sky ride on Sunday really helps brings people out you know shutting the city streets and I know certainly going over the Belgrave flyover is a real big a real big thing for people um, to get involved in. The more people that cycle, ho hopefully traffic accidents will be less because they're more aware of the amount of cyclists. It's not if there's more cyclists, the traffic accidents go up. And I know when I talk to Andy Salkow, the City Council cycling coordinator, you know, th you know that accidents and things like that have gone down with the increase of uh, with the increase of cycling. I mean, what's it like in Bristol um, with, with people? Are they kind of you know almost like do they go at it from that reclaim the streets point of view? Yeah, or do you they think do. It's, there's yeah? a good critical mass. Um, uh, organisation that happens there and it's like you say it's kind of catch 22 people don't want to get on their bikes because they feel intimidated they feel that well you know roads are scary and you know cars are big and that is very true but if you don't get out there and show that you're just as entitled to that road as a car is just because they're in a big metal tin doesn't mean they own the road you know you can be on it too and you should just feel as safe so it's but it is a lot harder you know if a car and a bike meet the car's not going to come off that bad yeah. is it it's yeah. definitely going to be the person so yeah. I understand that fear but it's just things like critical mass really just you know, on mass, people go. No, these are our roads as well. You know, it's just one night, just once a month. You know, we will we'll inconvenience. And there's nothing better than just hearing a bunch of cars just honking at you because you're slowing them down a little bit. So, Bristol's, you know, got the same sort of vibe. Everyone just goes out, has a bit of fun. It's a community thing, um, and it just sort of really gets people on their bikes and kind of shows cars and vehicles that hey, this is our, you know, this is our road just as much as it is yours. So, why did you decide to make this documentary? I mean, I've always been a bit of a filmmaker. I uh, studied graphic design, but I was too busy um, kind of just daydreaming about films. So it's always been something I've done, and I used to be a skateboarder, so I'd always make little skateboarding films. And then over time, I just started picking up my camera as I started riding this fixed gear bike and filming just my small group of friends. And in recent years, as it's really blew up, um, I just carried on filming. And then luckily, I got the best job in the world, and I now work at Armin Animations. And that introduced me to a whole host of, of geniuses and creative thinkers and, and um, people w who would teach me to use equipment and, and just this huge learning source of inspiration kind of really pushed me forward and, and just 
you know, really made me want to make something really, really fun. And ultimately, it's just, you know, it's just a celebration of being on a bicycle and a celebration of being outdoors with people. As simple as that. Really. So, um, if someone comes along tonight and watches it for 30 minutes, what, what is it you're trying to create when they come out? Really? What, whatever, whatever's unique to them, or yeah, you've mean, got a message in there? I often say this to people who make documentaries, you know, what, why have you made it? Is it message, have you made it for yourself, for other people? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, ultimately, my brief to myself was, I want my mum to watch it, I want my mum to understand what a fixed gear bike is. But ultimately, what I'd really love people to do, and what I've had some really nice feedback from screenings already, is that people just see it as fun, like, not just specifically fixed gear. I don't want to make it specifically this type of bike. I just want to make something that is a celebration of being on two wheels, outdoors, with other people. So really, I'd like people just to take away a look at isn't that fun? Hey, the, you know, I can make some great friends. And it's, isn't it great being outside? Isn't it great just doing stuff as well? You know, simple as that, really. Gavin, brilliant, mate. Thanks a lot, yeah? Thank you.